One of the strengths of documentaries is their ability to take viewers to places that might otherwise not go. And in the case of Blink, we get an additional family element. The parents of children with eyesight-related disorder take them to see the world. In addition to giving awareness to this condition, the film provides some impressive shots of the landscape and depict their wonder at these miraculous places. Even though the film tends to jump around a lot in order to fit into its 84-minute runtime, it's none less engaging, and it does develop an emotional investment in hoping they achieve everything they set out to do. Blink immediately provides context for the Pelletier family and why they decide to go on this trip. The film gives the needed information for what this disorder is and what these children have to deal with on a nightly basis. We get a sense of their fears, but also the things that bring them joy, and the family dynamic presented here for the cameras is an interesting one. Blink does not waste any time taking them on the road and establishing what they plan to do as they travel around the world. The film even incorporates charming bits of animation that reflect their plans and have the appropriate feel of a child's sketchbook. The cameras do an exceptional job of capturing the scenery of the place they visit, with plenty of sweeping shots. From Malaysia to Nepal to Ecuador, we see a decent amount of the environment and even the animals, making this partly a nature documentary as well. However, the film does jump ahead a lot and skips countries the family also visits, giving us either short clips or nothing at all. It gives a sense that a lot was cut down to reach the surprisingly short runtime, and while it's possible directors Daniel Roher and Edmund Stenson decided what they filmed was not interesting enough, it still would have been nice to see more of those places. We even get a brief glimpse of the family on safari in Africa, and it's disappointing we only get a few seconds to see those animals. The film can be surprisingly candid in showing the arguments between parents and children, and even times when they get a little too rowdy, so it does not just become a puff piece. Meanwhile, there's a sequence in a cable car where something goes wrong, and you feel just as irritated as they do when events spiral. Blink works on two levels, as both a travelogue and as a way to bring attention to this not often discussed condition. Parents whose children also have this will be happy to get some additional insight, and maybe help them as they cope with it. The beauty of documentaries like this is they allow us to learn about something we might otherwise not, and also help those who can relate to the subjects. It's great to see the various countries the family visits, and there is a nice variety to the locales. While Blink could have been longer and show us more of the trip, it does a fine enough job at its goal.